Welcome to Frank Roberts & Sons. Based in Northwich in the heart of Cheshire, the company was established in 1887 and is still very much a family business. With baking firmly at the heart of what we do, the site is split into two main divisions, Roberts Bakery and the Little Treats Company. Roberts Bakery produces high quality bread and rolls and is a much loved regional brand. Little Treats Company is a newer part of the business but soundly established as the UK's largest manufacturer of decorated gingerbread biscuits. With many of the Roberts family still involved in the running of the business, Frank Roberts & Sons still stands for the original ideals of its founder, the freshest top quality products produced from the finest ingredients. Let's meet the family and have a look around the bakeries and find out more. Hello, I'm Mike Roberts. Our family business was founded by my great-grandfather, Robert Roberts, back in 1887, when having trained as a baker, he opened his own grocery shop in Castle, Northwich. The business and the family quickly expanded, and Robert moved into larger premises, which included a small bakery in Lostock Graham, Northwich. Robert's son, Frank, followed in the family footsteps, and after completing his apprenticeship, joined the company developing the bakery and delivery service. Technological advances in the bakery industry during the 1920s and 30s intensified competition and, with an ambition to push the company further, Frank Roberts, now in charge of the business, took the decision to specialise in bread baking. The bakery's capacity was increased dramatically with the move from two to eight bakers. In 1952, the business took another big step forward and built the new Red Rose Bakery on our current site in Rudheath, Northwich. By this point, Frank's sons had started to join the business, and to mark the beginning of this new era, the company's name was changed to Frank Roberts & Sons Limited. The new bakery had the capacity to bake 600 loaves an hour. From here, the business flourished, and the bakery was further extended as technologies advanced. By 1962, we were producing 90,000 loaves a week, employed over 200 people, and were running a delivery fleet of 50 vehicles. The company celebrated its centenary in 1987 as a dynamic and successful multi-million pound business. Never afraid to invest, Roberts Bakery continued to develop and diversify during the 80s and 90s when we started to bake bread rolls and also expanded into food service and export markets. The first loaf of Roberts Bread was exported to Greece in 1993 and demand for our high quality products now stretches across Europe and even as far as Japan. Continuing the entrepreneurial flair of our forebears, the family developed a new aspect to the business in 1988, when the pastry case was established. The new sweet bakery found a niche in the catering market for long-life puff pastry cases and soon began baking and delivering the delicate shells. In 1992, the company made its first gingerbread biscuit for retailers to sell through their in-store bakeries, and we've never looked back. Now firmly established as the UK's leading supplier of decorated novelty biscuits, we also produce a range of chocolate clusters. Today, Frank Robertson Sons continues to go from strength to strength and has built an enviable reputation as a long-standing and successful family business. Many of the fourth generation are active in the business and our children are already starting to get involved. Robert's Bakery produces over 2.8 million loaves and bread rolls every week, both for the retail market and for food service companies, making pre-packed sandwiches and supplying caterers. We bake a very wide range of products, but for all of them, the baking process begins with flour. It's impossible to make great bread without the best flour, and we carefully source over 800 tonnes each week. We work closely with our millers to choose our own special blends from the world's finest wheats, these are then milled locally in Manchester and the flour is delivered direct to one of 11 on-site silos holding up to 50 tonnes. We also have two yeast tanks which store the 30,000 litres of yeast we use a week. Just like baking at home, we follow a recipe for each loaf or bread roll we make and it's important to get the weighing of all the ingredients accurate. We use an automated system that feeds most of the ingredients directly into the mixers with our skilled bakers adding the smaller quantities by hand. The system also allows us to assign reference numbers to each ingredient and therefore trace any loaf right back to its origins. 
The mixers handle 340 kilograms of dough at a time and work at high speed, combining the raw ingredients and adding energy to the dough in just four minutes. One mix will make 365 loaves of bread and in total we can make around 13,000 loaves an hour across our two plants. Once mixed, the dough is lifted into a divider which accurately cuts the mixture into loaf-sized pieces. The yeast in the dough acts as a leavening agent, releasing gas bubbles into the mixture to increase the volume and produce light, soft bread. To work efficiently, the yeast needs alternate work and rest periods, so the modern bakery is designed to incorporate these stages in a continuous process that maximizes capacity. Once cut, each piece of dough passes through the rounder, which, as the name suggests, rolls the dough into a ball. It then rests for three to four minutes in the first prover, which allows the dough to relax before it is shaped to fit into a tin. We use three different types of tins in the bakery and these move round in a continuous process of reuse. Robots put them on and take them off the lines as necessary. Most of our bread is baked in tins with lids. This lets us produce square loaves which are ideal for sandwich makers and gives a flat top to products such as our highly popular sliced white loaves. When the tin is lidded, we can make what is called a four-piece loaf. The dough is flattened out and then rolled up like a Swiss roll before being cut into four smaller pieces that are turned and dropped sideways into the tin. As the pieces expand, they join together to fill the full space. Cutting and turning the pieces in this way creates a much stronger slice that holds together when it's being buttered, but also makes the bread much whiter. For a more traditional rounded top, we bake the loaves in tins without lids. We flatten and roll the dough as before, but drop it directly into the tin as one whole piece. Without a lid, the bread rises with a smooth curved top and tends to get a darker colour and a slightly stronger taste in the top crust. The tinned dough moves on to the final proving stage, where it goes into a humid, temperature-controlled environment for 56 minutes. These are the ideal conditions for the yeast to work and the dough rises further, expanding in the tin before being baked. Once the dough has risen, the tins are lidded if required and transferred to the ovens. We have three travelling ovens in Robert's Bakery and the bread moves through them, baking as it goes. The largest oven is 42 metres long and the bread takes around 24 minutes to bake at a temperature of 280 degrees Celsius. At each stage of the process, a team of bakery experts are on hand, fine-tuning and monitoring the height, weight and temperature of the bread. They also check colour, shape and texture so that we can be sure all of our loaves meet the highest quality standards before we put our name on them. As the freshly baked bread leaves the oven, the lids are removed and the bread is lifted from the tins. At this point, the loaves have a core temperature of 96 degrees and we rapidly cool them down so that they can be sliced and packed. At Robert's Bakery, we use spiral cooling towers, which are large refrigerated units that cool the bread down to a more manageable 28 degrees. The iconic towers that you can see at the front of the bakery were built in the year 2000 and are a hugely popular local landmark. At any one time, they can hold up to 8,000 loaves as they spiral up one side and down the other. Bread rolls are produced in much the same way as loaves and we make a huge variety of different shapes, sizes and flavours, as well as hot cross buns and tea cakes. The dough is mixed and cut to size before resting in a humid proving unit to allow the rolls to rise before baking. Both before and after the oven we apply a range of toppings, whether it's seeds sprinkled on the top of the rolls, hot cross buns being crossed or paninis receiving their characteristic striped branding. Slicing and packing is the final stage of the production process. The automated slicing blades are razor sharp, cutting 45 loaves per minute into different slice thicknesses before sliding them into a bag and sealing it with a date tag. Each tag carries a code that lets us trace any loaf back to a particular machine and time of day. Finally, the bread passes through a metal detector for a last check before it is packed into trays ready for dispatch. Robert's Bakery has a wide range of customers. Our branded retail bread is only available regionally, but is highly popular within the steadily expanding area that we cover. On the food service side of the business, we supply to customers such as sandwich makers and caterers, both across the UK and beyond. Our most distant customer is in Japan. 
This means that as well as taking it straight from the supermarket shelves, you could also be enjoying Robert's bread in pre-packed sandwiches, school dinners and coffee shops. Understanding and responding to our customers' needs is incredibly important and our dedicated product development team is constantly working to create and refine the next generation of products. This innovation has resulted in a wide variety of formats and recipes for both retail and food service, from traditional white to malted wheat grain and seeded farmhouse, sun-dried tomato and olive, and even a cranberry loaf at Christmas. The bakery operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week, baking throughout the night to always bring you the freshest loaves. We have 70 delivery vehicles that go out across the day from as early as 2 a.m. We deliver direct to our stores to ensure that the bread reaches the shelves as quickly as possible. Robert's bread can go from a ball of dough to a finished loaf on a van within just five hours. It's often still warm as it's loaded. And that's our mission. Deliciously fresh, tasty bread baked for you by Robert's Bakery. The pastry case, which was established in 1988 and has now been rebranded to the Little Treats Company, is now the UK's largest manufacturer of gingerbread and decorated novelty biscuits. It also produces chocolate clusters and other specialist biscuits. You can now find the Little Treats Company name on the supermarket shelves and you will certainly recognize our products from the in-store bakery aisles of most supermarkets. Our gingerbread is made using natural ingredients as you would at home. The flour is measured directly into the mixer from a silo, while the rest of the ingredients are weighed out and added by the bakers, according to individual customer recipes. Each mix takes 10 to 12 minutes and creates 250 kilograms of dough. This is then rolled out and transformed into the final biscuit shape in one of two ways. For shapes with high surface definition, like our mini men, we use a rotary molder, which has a series of silicone molds set into it. The dough is pressed into the moulds and then peeled away as exact replicas. With the more traditional guillotine method, the dough is rolled out flat before a line of metal cutters stamp out the biscuit shapes. The excess dough is lifted away and returned to the start so that nothing is wasted. Some of our biscuits are decorated before they enter the oven. Different colours of cake mix and chocolate buttons are applied to create simple designs. There is a very short time window in which to decorate. The biscuits are on a conveyor belt making their way towards the oven and they all have to be finished and quality checked before they get there. Biscuits don't need any proving or resting time before being baked, so they travel straight through the 48 meter oven for between 8 and a half and 15 minutes. Once out of the other end they quickly start to cool down and at this stage every biscuit is quality checked again for size, shape and colour. Those biscuits that were decorated before they were baked are packed straight into boxes, ready to be dispatched. The base biscuits, that are yet to be finished, are allowed to cool further before being taken for hand decorating. We have an almost endless portfolio of iced biscuit designs, often seasonal and each developed and approved in conjunction with the customer. Our MPD and factory teams are constantly working to create stunning new designs and their ideas just keep getting better and better. We use natural colours to create the palette of icings needed for each design. Our highly skilled decorators then work to a master template and recreate the design on each individual biscuit. The designs change all the time, but our team are amazing and switch from one design to another with ease, whilst also achieving an incredible degree of consistency. A final quality inspection is carried out as the biscuits are packed into boxes to let the icing dry prior to wrapping and dispatch. The Little Treats Company is also a major manufacturer of chocolate clusters and we produce a number of different recipes including chocolate cornflake cakes and Rocky Road Bites. We use a premium milk chocolate that is delivered to us in liquid form and constantly stirred throughout the production process. The chocolate is mixed with cornflakes or Rice Krispies and in some recipes with other inclusions such as raisins or biscuit pieces. The mixture is pushed through shaped holes in a rotating drum and the formed clusters are turned out onto a conveyor belt. They then pass through an 18 meter long cooling tunnel to gently chill and set the final product. As they come out of the other end, they are quality checked for shape and chocolate coverage before being hand packed and sealed, ready for customer distribution. The Little Treats Company supplies all of the major food retailers on a national basis and we deliver our products into their distribution hubs for onward travel to individual stores 
so you can therefore find our biscuits and clusters anywhere in the country, from Aberdeen to London or Cardiff. Of course, behind every great company, there's a dedicated team, and without them, Frank Roberts and Sons would not be here today. With over 800 staff, we're the largest employer in the area, and the bakery has always been at the very heart of the local community. In addition to the bakers, decorators, and delivery drivers, the wheels are kept in motion by teams of engineers and mechanics, hygiene and warehouse operatives, and sales and administration teams. The workforce at Frank Roberts & Sons has always been very loyal and our longest serving employee to date retired after an incredible 50 years service. The Roberts family value and continue their commitment to the community, not only as an employer but also supporting local charitable causes and promoting food production in the region. As we look towards the future, there are exciting plans for continuing to develop and grow the business while always staying true to our core values. The family looks forward to keeping the Roberts name synonymous with great baking for many generations to come.